This video is on the different forms of a linear equation, uh, specifically slope intercept form and standard form, and how we can graph lines given to us in either of those forms. Slope intercept form y equals mx plus b is the one that most people are familiar with. It's the most common one you see. But that doesn't mean it's the only way to represent a linear equation. So for example, if I had the line y equals 3x plus 4, given to me in slope intercept form, by using inverse operations and taking a positive 3x and undoing it with a minus 3x on both sides, I end up with the equation negative 3x plus y equals 4. And these two equations are equivalent. They mean the same thing. They are the same thing. They're just written differently. And what I end up with in this second one is what's called standard form. Essentially because the x's and the y's are on the same side of the equation. And the generic standard form equation is ax plus by equals c. This is probably the second most common form of a linear equation that you see. But unlike slope intercept form, the a's and b's do not necessarily give us any useful information like the m and b does in slope intercept form. But that doesn't mean that there aren't still some advantages to standard form over slope intercept form. What we're going to find out is that the orientation of the variables in standard form makes finding the x and y intercepts pretty quick and easy which will allow us to kind of use a shortcut when it comes to graphing. So here we have a question that asks us to graph the line negative 3x plus 2y equals 6. So let's do it the way we know how, which is by using slope intercept form to use the m value and the b value to graph our line. But because this isn't given to us in slope intercept form, it requires us to first put it in slope intercept form by using inverse operations to get the y by itself, which means we first have to undo the negative 3x or the positive 3x to both sides. Then we have to undo a times by 2 with a divide by 2 to both sides. Now we have the equation y equals 3 halves x plus 3. This equation is equivalent to the one we started with, just written in a different way. But now that it's written in slope intercept form, I know that I can use my m, my slope, and my b, my y-intercept to graph it. I begin at 3 on the y-axis, and then I go up 3 and over 2 to find my next point using the slope. You could continue going up 3 and